Hello students, welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. My name is Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So uh, dear students, uh, I believe that you are okay wherever you're watching uh, from. And in this session, uh, still under oral uh, poetry and songs, we want to look at uh, lullabies. So earlier on, uh, when we, uh, when we uh, did an introduction of oral poetry and songs, uh, we said that uh, these, uh, you know, uh, uh, songs are uh, further classified into uh, various categories or uh, sub-genres. And you also say that they are sung for a purpose and uh, each category has its uh, specific functions. So in this video, I'd, uh, I'd like us to, uh, uh, you know, uh, say something about uh, lullabies as a sub-genre of uh, oral uh, poetry or uh, songs. So uh, first things first, lullabies are songs uh, that are sung by mother uh, or uh, by sisters or uh, baby sitters to soothe babies to sleep or to quiet crying babies. So lullabies are simple songs uh, that involve uh, most cases monosyllabic words that are constantly uh, repeated. So uh, it is a song full of repetition. Again, uh, they have a soft tone and a smooth rocking rhythm uh, for effect. So here are some of the uh, features of uh, lullabies. So the first feature of lullabies, dear student, is that these songs are sung by a parent, uh, older siblings, a babysitter, or any other relative uh, nursing the baby. So the second uh, feature of lullabies is that they are laden with unrealistic promises. So uh, we have a lot of imaginary gifts uh, in these uh, songs. So they also employ empty threats uh, to the babies, uh, such as the hyena, you know, devouring the baby. So these are empty uh, threats given to uh, the, the babies so that uh, they can uh, keep quiet. So another feature is that uh, they are repetitive uh, for the purpose of creating a rhythm. Remember we said that uh, lullabies are simple songs that involve monosyllabic words that are constantly repeated. So uh, they are repetitive uh, for a purpose and the purpose is uh, to create rhythm or uh, musicality. So another feature is that uh, there are soothing words uh, used to calm uh, the baby. Uh, then the next feature is that reference for close relatives like the mother uh, or uh, sometimes the father is uh, uh, made. Then uh, they are short. These songs are usually brief. Then uh, the last feature is that they are sung slowly and softly. These songs are sung slowly and softly. So uh, on to the next uh, thing that is uh, functions of lullaby. So here are some of the functions of uh, lullaby dear students. The first function is that uh, lullabies are sung to make the baby uh, stop crying. Then apart from that, they are sung to put the baby to sleep. Then uh, another function of uh, this subgenre is that they inform the baby of its mother's whereabouts. And uh, the last function uh, that is also in uh, most of uh, these uh, you know uh, categories of songs is that they entertain. So just to uh, help us uh, understand uh, better what we have learned, I have an example of uh, a lullaby and uh, some questions that uh, I'd like us to, uh, you know, attempt at uh, the end. So uh, the example is sleep, baby, sleep, sleep, baby, sleep. Let the sleep in father's eyes come to baby. Let the sleep in mother's eyes come to baby. Sleep, baby, sleep, sleep, baby, sleep. Mother went to the farm 
and has not come back, mother will bring bananas, small ones for the baby, big ones for the baby sitter. Sleep, baby sleep, sleep, baby sleep. So on to the next thing. Here are uh, some of the questions that we can get uh, from the uh, oral uh, poem or song that we have just sung. So I'll first of all uh, read the question, that is the four of them. Uh, afterwards, we will attempt each. So the first question, place the song in its appropriate sub-genre. Then the next uh, question, what two functions does this particular song serve? Then uh, question number three, give three characteristics of this sub-genre of songs. Then uh, the last question, state four circumstances that can lead to the performance of uh, this song. So uh, let us uh, start by uh, looking at the first question. Uh, so uh, place the song in its appropriate uh, subgenre. Of course, uh, this is a lullaby because uh, that is what we have just learned. So it is a lullaby and it is meant to soothe the baby to stop crying and sleep. So uh, when, uh, you know, uh, giving the subgenre uh, also uh, illustrate, that is, uh, uh, give reasons why it is, you know, uh, uh, a lullaby, for example. So the next question, what two functions does this particular song serve? So this is asking on uh, some of the functions of lullabies. So the first one, uh, they are sung to make uh, the baby stop crying. The second function, uh, they are sung to inform the baby of uh, its mother's whereabouts. Then uh, they are also sung to soothe the baby to sleep. And again, they are sung to entertain uh, the child or the baby. So the uh, third question, give three characteristics of this uh, subgenre of songs. Give these, uh, uh, I mean, give three char uh, characteristics of uh, this subgenre of songs. So talking about uh, characteristics of uh, lullaby, so we have uh, quite a number. The first one is that uh, they are repetitive, like in the uh, one above, uh, the words sleep, baby sleep are repeated. Another uh, characteristic is that they have a slow rocking rhythm. Apart from uh, uh, the, the, uh, having a slow uh, rocking rhythm, the uh, third characteristic is that they are sung softly. Again, most words used are monosyllabic, that is, they are uh, simple words. Uh, for example, the words sleep, uh, baby, and uh, sleep. Another characteristic is that uh, they have soothing words that even encompass lying to the child and making and realistic uh, promises, that is uh, imaginary uh, gifts. So in the above uh, song, uh, the, uh, the line, uh, 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 mother is coming, you know, uh, with, uh, with bananas, small ones for the baby and big ones for uh, the babysitter. Those are just, uh, you know, imaginary gifts. So the last uh, characteristic is that they make reference to close uh, relatives like the mother. So the last question, state four circumstances that can lead to the performance of this song. State four circumstances that can lead to the performance of this song. So uh, the first uh, circum circumstance uh, that can lead to the performance of a lullaby is number one, when a baby is crying. Uh, another one is that uh, when a baby is upset, uh, Another thing is that when a baby is separated from its mother, another uh, circumstance that can lead to the performance of a, a lullaby is when a baby wants to sleep. And lastly, when uh, you know a baby uh, or maybe uh, children want to entertain themselves. So dear students, uh, I believe that uh, the questions were super helpful and uh, that marks the end of this session. Thank you for keeping it easy, Limo. Until next time, bye.